Hey everybody, welcome back to The Wolf Pit with another episode of Eating on a Budget. Fried bologna sandwiches on white bread is the definition of eating on a budget. Some people like their bologna sliced thick, some like it sliced thin, some people like it lightly browned, and some people like it very browned. But no matter how you sliced it or cooked it, it's something to eat and it's very cheap. A pack of bologna and a loaf of bread makes a whole lot of sandwiches. Unless you want to overdo it like my daughter and I did in this old video, but had a lot of fun making this gargantuan fried bologna, onion, mushrooms, and cheese sandwich that of course was cooked in butter because butter makes everything better. This sandwich was definitely the makings of an early heart attack, so it was a good thing we split this sandwich in half and we were both only able to eat a quarter of it. So today, I'm going to show you how to make inexpensive, delicious fried bologna sandwiches with the addition of eggs and cheese. These fried bologna egg and cheese sandwiches can be made ahead of time, stored in a baggie, and enjoyed for breakfast, lunch, or dinner. I'm going to show you how to make nine of these delicious sandwiches that will warm and fill your belly for a total of $3.83 or $0.39 cents a sandwich. You can obviously do these in a skillet, but I got this griddle for Christmas, which is perfect to make a bunch of grilled sandwiches. We had the griddle set to 325 degrees and we coated with a little margarine. Obviously you could use butter, but when you're on a budget, a stick of margarine is 31 cents less than a stick of butter. Every penny counts. And if you're new to the channel, these videos are made to help people that are truly struggling for their next meal and they need to make every penny stretch as far as it can go. And I know some of us would probably put a lot more on each one of these sandwiches than what we're putting on them. But that's not the point of this video. The point of these videos is to help people on a very limited budget while making every penny stretch as far as it can go. Once the griddle's hot and you've added your margarine, add the bologna. Now those of you that have fried bologna before, you know you need to cut slits in the bologna from keeping it from curling up when frying. And again, it's all about eating on a budget or what you can afford. So buy the bologna that your budget allows you to. In the case of these budget videos, I do them on extreme budgets. And for the 12 ounce package of Bar S bologna, it's only 98 cents. So that's what we used. And I was actually anticipating making 10 sandwiches today because the pack of bologna said about 10 servings. Lesson learned on my part. Don't assume you get the higher end of the about amount. Now let the bologna cook to your desired brownness and crispification. I've noticed that the lower end bologna tends not to render much fat and it tends to burn more than brown. So I turned it sooner than I would better quality bologna. You would think it was just the opposite, that the cheaper bologna would have more fat. Lately, there's been something about me and cheap bologna. I'm talking about bologna that's a combination of chicken, pork, beef, and mystery meats. I actually prefer the low-end bologna over the good, high-quality, all-beef bologna. I suppose the Dollar Tree has lowered the quality of my palate over the years. Once the bologna is cooked two to three minutes per side, or until your desired doneness, remove from the griddle and set aside. There's still plenty of butter and bologna juice for the eggs to cook in. Did I just say bologna juice? That doesn't sound right, but it's a fact. But if you want to add more margarine, butter, or bacon grease, that would be fine. But if you're sticking to the margarine, make sure you save enough to toast the bread. Now crack nine eggs onto the griddle. So we broke all the yolks, but if you want a runny yolk, that's fine, or you can just scramble them. Season the eggs with salt and pepper or whatever seasoning you like. Just remember that the bologna is pretty salty. After a minute or two, flip the eggs. Then remove the eggs after 30 seconds or so. Clean off the griddle or your skillet and apply more margarine, or the fat of your preference.
Then add nine pieces of white bread or the bread of your choice. We used the Great Value brand, which was the cheapest bread that Walmart had, but I gotta tell you, this bread was surprisingly good and it was cut thicker than most white bread. It was almost like Texas toast. Once you've added all your bread, add the slices of bologna, the fried eggs, and the cheese slices. And finally, add the nine slices of bread. If desired, you could smear mayonnaise, mustard, ketchup, hot sauce, etc. to the bread if you like. Now cook the bread to your desired toastification, and in a perfect world, we'd have another spot on the griddle to butter up and flip the sandwiches. Or we could have thought ahead and just buttered the second piece of bread before adding it. So we simply removed the sandwiches rebuttered the griddle, and added the sandwiches back to toast the second piece of bread until your desired toastification. And there you have it, nine delicious fried bologna egg and cheese sandwiches for 39 cents a piece. And like I said, you can eat these right away or you can place them in baggies and have them throughout the week and have them for breakfast, lunch, or dinner or have them for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Now it doesn't take a rocket scientist to make these sandwiches and most everybody's had them, but I was just trying to show another way to feed your family a meal or several meals if you decide not to eat these all at once. Sometimes simple is better, and this is definitely the case with these sandwiches. If you have any ideas for budget meals that you'd like to see me make, let me know. Thank you all very much for watching, and I'll see you soon.